Oh, this is a big box. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay, so the first plant that I got. Ooh, oh, it's connect. Ooh, it's connected to another plant. Okay. So it's a I don't know the, the exact name of it actually but I they provided an invoice this time so I will tell you what this plant is it is a Maranta Lecunera Le Beauty Kim or the variegated Maranta um, it's like the Maranta Splash or something I don't I don't know the proper, or the common name for it, I guess. Where, here's my flyers. Um, here we go. These are packaged a bit weird. <laughs> I've never seen anyone package plants like this before. So, yeah. Uh, eh. Trying to be gentle, I promise. Um, but so yeah, this is the variegated Maranta plant. And I, when I tell you, this is one of my wish list plants right here. It's a straw? No. No, it's a steak. I thought it was a straw. Okay, the next plant. Oh, this plant is so squished. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, this is why you, like, maybe shouldn't package your plants like this. Oh, no, I hope that they're all okay. Oh, God. Okay. This plant is, um, I think it's Clar Claridendrum Thompsoni Bleeding Heart Vine. Yes, that's what this plant is. Oh god, I feel so bad for this plant. This company did not, look it, the stake is through the pot. Through the pot. Oh god, this is like such horrible packaging. Oh, and now it's coming out of the pot. Oh my god. This this is going to have to get repotted right away. Which you're not supposed to do, but this is horrible. Let me see if I can just get this plant out without damaging it. Okay, there's just a bag of dirt now. Yep, there's a few leaves that fell off. This leaf right here fell off. Um, the plant itself doesn't seem to have any damage, which is honestly a bit surprising considering the condition that it was shipped in. But this is what it looks like. It really is beautiful. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, I've never seen this plant before, but it just really intrigued me. The pictures were with these like gorgeous blooms on it. Um, and the foliage itself is just so beautiful. And I was just like, like it reminds me of a uh, Monstera, Monstera Peru, I think is the name, um, which I have. Um, it's not doing great though. <laughs> it's really, it's not doing the best. I ordered it from Green Spaces ID and, um, it came okay, but now it's not doing great. So I'm, I think I should pot it up in some orchid bark or something. I don't, I don't know what's happening with that one. Okay, so the next plant, the next plant doesn't have a plant in it. Let me show you what they sent me. Um, I'm not sure what the issue is with this order, but I'm just, okay, so I ordered from the plant farm on Etsy, and like, this is the contents of the box that I'm looking at right now. Like, this is the inside of it. 
normally I don't say the name of the company, but this is like not okay. And they have like a few hundred sales. Like this, this ain't it. This, I don't know what they did here, but like this is not okay. I think this plant doesn't have a pot. Maybe that's what it was for. They sent me this plant, which is Colomina Melissa Plug. Okay. Let me just take this out of the packaging. It was not sent in a pot, but it was not the one that fell out of the pot. I have to find that, I guess. Um, but this plant, this is what it looks like. It, um, I liked it because like the leaf texture on it just looks really nice and feels really nice. This is it up close. The next plant that I ordered Oh, this is the fallen plant. This is the plant that fell out. Okay. Okay, we'll do this one first. So let me take the packing paper off of it. I think it's paper. It's like little paper strands or whatever. Um, this is a Colocasia Illustris, I think. This is what it looks like. I don't know if this plant will make it, actually. This is what it looks like up close. Um, this plant clearly has suffered some shipping damage. Um, so yeah, I am not pleased with this company at all. This is not how you ship plants. This is the other leaf for reference. I mean, if this plant does survive, it would be absolutely beautiful. It's like, it reminds me of the Alocasia Black Velvet, I think that's what it is, um, in its color and veining, so, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. And the last plant that is in this box, <laughs> honestly, thank god, this is just tragic. <laughs> um, this also detached from its pot. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um, Okay. Okay, so this plant is a... This is an alocasia black stem. And this plant, again, has some droopy leaves due to the way that it was shipped. Um, the black veining on the back, though, is gorgeous. This plant is so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Um, again, hopefully this bounces back and survives. Um, but this leaf, as you can see here, is completely torn. Um, it just ripped in two. So, yeah, and this plant, I mean, this leaf over here is starting to turn yellow. Um, alocasia uh, are not the best to ship. They're not totally cool with being shipped. Um, so the way that this was packaged was pretty awful. This is probably, this is, this is the worst that I've ever had plants come to me in the mail. Um, thank God I have some more boxes to unpack because I would have been in a very bad mood if this was the only box that I got.